Teresa Ray of Ocracoke talks about landing her job as a commercial fisherman. When you moved to Ocracoke, did you start fishing right away? No, or? I was still doing massage okay. and I was working um, with some women here in a retail store, Mermaid's Folly, and um, my captain, Hardy Plyler, which was Byron's captain, you know, Byron left and he was left without, you know, some help and I was left with, you know, just being tired of working in a retail shop and, sure. you know, I was, you know, I've always liked physical labor. I've always been a tomboy. I like hanging outside and uh -huh. getting my hands dirty, looking at animals of, and so I was like, hey man, you know, if you don't mind hiring a woman, don't treat me like a woman, treat me like anybody else you'd have work for you and, you know. He was, you know, he was willing to give me a test run, and it but worked you, out had, well. you had never done never any done commercial like fishing. No commercial fishing. Okay. Now I've hunted, you know, for a good portion. Uh huh. Of, you know, so I've always been, you know. Tell me, how did that uh, work out with Hardy at the beginning? Or was um, it overwhelming? It was. Oh, in your pound netting, right? Oh, we pound net, gill net. Okay, yes. both. We okay. started out, um, it was, Hardy was working with another fisherman, Jesse Spencer. Okay. And they had, that was their pound net crew. They had several nets, a stand of nets together. And I was just on the side to help with um, restaurant, cleaning fish for some of the restaurants here. Okay. We catered to about four of them. Okay. And so I was pretty much brought on to hang net, um, clean fish, and manage the, you know, the books for the fish that we sell to the restaurants and okay. help him fish while he for was off the, doing pound netting. The, so no, that was just all for Hardy and then uh, he started introducing me, you know, he'd be like, okay, we're going to go out and start pound netting and you can, you know, do something, just make yourself useful and I just really enjoyed it. And So it was the three of you? Yes, it was okay. the three of us. It was mainly Hardy and Jesse, but uh -huh. I was just there to kind of learn the ropes and As get an a feel of it. As an sort of. Yes, uh -huh. very much. And uh, then, you know, they split. So, you know, Jesse wanted, you know, more nets. And Hardy, you know, he's an older dude, you know, and it was getting harder for him. And uh -huh. um, now we just have one pound net. But, you know, it was just... It just, you know, everything would just come together and I would, you know, I'm a fairly quick learner and I keep my eyes open and my mouth shut. I do what I'm told and that's, you know, you go a long way by keeping your mouth shut. <laughs> it's taken me years to learn that, but you can do that. And uh, so it just, it worked out. Can you think of anything that would have made it easier for you when you first got into fishing? Um, other than weightlifting. Um, <laughs> No, because I was so, everything was so new to me. Didn't even know how to start a boat. You know, I didn't know how to do any of that. You know, I just the first two years it was kind of don't ask what you're being told to do. You just figure out how to do it right as quickly as possible and try to get it done right the first time. Okay. And then by the third, fourth year, he would you know go through and uh, you know. I'd, Try not to ask too many questions, you know, because that gets annoying after a while. I'd kind of, but he would be like, this is why you do this. These are the reasons for this. And you kind of start to put it all together by the fourth year. Uh, you know, so it's just, there's nothing I think that could have really helped me. Okay. Uh, you know, I was just myself, you know. I had grown up with boys and, you know, I was tough enough. And um, So you haven't fished any other place? No. Cane pole in Missouri somewhere. <laughs> That's about all the fishing I ever did. <laughs>